Hello and welcome to a beautiful morning out on Loch Fyne in Scotland. Now this isn't somewhere where I usually make videos um, but today I do find myself down here fishing, up here fishing I should say. Um, and I really love it up here, the drive down yesterday night was great, it is just a beautiful area and we've just got a beautiful day. Now I'm actually going to be fishing for a big giant common skate today but right now I'm just fishing with bait. Um, the, the lads that I'm fishing with they're putting a half day in at work, but they've been kind enough to literally just lend me a boat, <laughs> give me a rod, and send me off to catch some bait. So hopefully we can find some mackerel. So that's all we're doing right now. Um, I'm trying a few of the marks that uh, my mate Ben's given me, but no luck so far. But yeah, we're going to carry on. And uh, the main thing that I'll video will be the skate fishing. But I hope you enjoy this video because I'm really going to enjoy it. I can't wait for this. I'm really stoked. The bait fishing consisted of simply jigging sabiki feathers over some notable areas in the loch with the aim of some in-size mackerel, whiting, pollock or coalfish to use as hold dead baits for the afternoon skate session. Finally, we've got a mackerel. That's perfect skate bait, that's a nice size. That is a relief. Something a little different, a little coddling that time. But as soon as the mackerel are in, as soon as he's undersized, we'll get this guy back. Well that is a juvenile haddock. And that's the first haddock I've ever caught. So I'm actually really pleased with that. Never caught a haddock on rod and line before. And now I have. But he's small so he's going back. Well, to be honest, I don't even mind if I don't catch anything else. Just floating around on my own in lot fine, catching haddock, mackerel, codlin. And that's just the bait fishing. It's just so peaceful out here, there's so much wildlife, the seals coming right up to me, harbour porpoise, birds I never get to see back home, it's just fantastic. And the mackerel are all a really nice size as well. So yeah, I'm just loving life right now. These black guillemots for example were plentiful in the loch and are not a species I get to see back home. So white in that time, another species, I think all we haven't had yet is crawfish and pollock, won't mind getting some of them. Uh, again, not keeping this guy for bait. Now I've got the mackerel, we'll pop that back. Another species this time, it's a gurnard. Now that's not a tub gurnard, it's either a red or a streaked. I don't think it's a grey gurnard either. I'd love to say it's a streaked because then it, again it would be my first one ever. So hopefully that's a streaked gurnard. It's got a bit of red in it but it's, I remember the red ones being really bright red, you know, like the boat. So hopefully that's a streaked gurnard. But either way, he's going back. Well, we've got 14 or 15 mackerel that size now, which is a good haul. I had to work from like, but I think that should just about carry us through the session. Great stuff. With that little haul of bait in the well, I pointed the Pioneer back towards the jetty to go on to the next stage of the day's fishing. Now it's time for the main event. That's the boat we're going skate fishing in. Andy's just getting it ready now. I can't wait. We then headed out into the beautiful sound of Jura, which was like glass on this day, and prepared to anchor in the extremely deep water found here, before dropping baits of whole mackerel down to the seabed with a kilogram of lead on. I didn't film much through the session, as this fishing is really a waiting game, but Andy did drop down some smaller baits while we waited, and managed to bring some spur dog and dogfish to the boat to provide some early action. These spur dog are amongst a few other species which will quite happily withstand the pressure and darkness found at such depths and provided some sport while the skate rods remained untouched. However, as the tide dropped a bit lower, the ratchet on my pen senator eventually clicked into life, indicating the first skate run of the day. Alright, so we're probably about 15 minutes into the fight, something like that, maybe getting on for 20 minutes. Uh, I'd love to say that we're halfway up, but I don't think we're even quite there yet. Um, we're, what depth of water are we in? 100 and... sorry, 150 meters. Yeah. yeah. 450 feet. 450 feet. Probably not halfway up yet, but... I reckon you're about 20 feet up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not on the bottom anymore. I'll take that. I should have said before as well, fighting this fish on a, a pen alley, 50 to 100 pound rod with a pen Senator 60114H loaded with 80 pound braid, but it's quite springy Bun braid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but when it went, it still, it still run like, I've been even though I've not seen a bite all day. 
<laughs> I can climb up. I can climb up on top of there and film your hand in it. Just have to turn up. It does feel like it's playing enough in the tide a bit now. No, it's definitely sitting in the tide line. How long have we been in now, Donald? Over half hour, we over half an hour now. Oh, we're getting there. We've the spores looking at Halfway. <laughs> what? We're not, we're not getting there. <laughs> we're ready. <clears throat> when your camera can't see 100 metres into the water. This, this isn't my camera, it's Luke. Oh, Luke's camera. <laughs> Jellyfish, <laughs> I'll come back in another <laughs> 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> How long have you been on it now, Donald? Just coming up to 45. Oh, God. <laughs> Got to land it in five minutes for Ben to win the sweep. I think that's pushing yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a sign of it. <laughs> Go on, Luke, put your back into it. <laughs> Come on, Get into the boat, do they go a bit more animated? Can be, uh, oh. Just flying around in tide, that's yeah. what it looked like. Keep it in, Luke, it's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, don't, don't try and stop it, right? Stop in a minute and then just just bring it back up again. And just saw the boat, that's it, that's it. Lift and wine. <clears throat> that's so demoralising. <laughs> no, that's the power of it. Isn't it? Now it's it didn't take much, it must have just seen, it's obviously seen the boat, so yeah. you were close like. Too much on your back to lean your foam on the boat, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. <coughs> that's what you're going oh, again. Nice to have a, a, a rail about there, yeah. wouldn't it? Like, yeah. uh. <coughs> that's what you're going again. Like, what was it you were saying a minute ago? Like, see, when they get near the top, do they go a bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like wanting it to a little bit. Oh, yeah. no, I don't want that. That's it. Keep the, keep the, keep the pressure, keep the pressure. We're not far. It's obviously off. a nice fish, right? Yeah. That one I had didn't do anything like this, did it? Like. No. I think he's just playing it. Like. <laughs> he's just about. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just for his YouTube channel. That's all it is. Like. <laughs> Another couple of wines. You'd be like back where you were before, like. Yeah. yeah. Loads. Nah, not too much like. <laughs> Quite a bit like. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching it go like. Yeah, the ultimate <laughs> <was dandy>. like, <laughs> I was watching it spoil that like. Was that, that they've only done that to me, the ones I lost like. Yeah. <clears throat> Just no stopping it, is he? Once it wants to do that, like, uh, I've got no chance. I thought about summoning it, but then I was like, nah, no, 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 I said, no. Just leave, just leave yeah, it. Yeah, Pull you over. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you want to thumb it because you don't want to do any more lines. Yeah, you'll, you'll, just, you'll just lose you'll it. You'll snap something like. Yeah. I thought we were going to get it then. We will get it. <laughs> just not then. <clears throat> Since you said you can see it, I feel like I've got some feet in them. Yeah. You definitely, that last few lifts you've done have come quicker. Like, yeah. We'll keep, we'll keep saying fastest. we can see it. Like. 
few pictures you've had in a while, like. <coughs> Good. Come on. You've nailed it. We're on about an hour now. Must be. Seven minutes. I don't think I'll Hour and seven it. minutes. You tired out yet, Luke? Can't see right. it. That's the thing. Can't see it now. Can't see it yet. <laughs> <laughs> have a look how much line you've got on. Well, he's getting there. He's getting there. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, Luke. Come on, Luke. Come on, You're getting a good lift on it now, Luke. Encouraging to see it, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would help morale, wouldn't it? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> huh, on top there. At this point, just as I thought I was reaching the end game, the skate dived on a big run back down and took a fair bit of line from the spool. You reckon? Like another hundred feet of line. Pointing right at us. We then finally laid eyes on this skate and it looked huge coming up in the clear water. Corey. He's coming straight wow. up. Wow. Nice. We'll just keep trying to keep the head up if you can. Okay. Holy moly. That is an um, that is a cool looking animal. Due to the size of this skate, it took us all to get it aboard this boat, so I couldn't film the actual landing, but we got it. Just keep, just keep the keep the strain on it if you can, Luke. It's coming straight up. It's ready for you. Well, we've got a common skate. They called giant skate, common skate. Um, this one is actually a female fish. Uh, I've no idea the size. We've just got a measure on it, and we'll, we'll figure out the size later. Because obviously, we don't want to keep this out of water for long. We want to return it alive. It's a beautiful animal. <laughs> biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. Biggest fight I've ever had with a fish. I haven't got a clue how long the fight was. Hour and a half. <coughs> Hour and a half. <laughs> it's ruined me. That that's, gives you some sort of scale of the fish. It's, it's not like any other fish you catch. It's, it's like bigger than me. It's insane. But as much as you want to like hold on to this moment, we're gonna we're gonna give it, to give it a lie foot. down and and uh, we stroke so you can spread I'll lie you down. Out. <laughs> I'm six foot. <laughs> I'm not actually putting any weight on the fish. That's got to be over six foot with tail. Not longer. <laughs> Beautiful. That's a long fish. The length and wingspan measurements of this fish suggested a weight of 204 pound, which I could very well believe for a healthy female such as this one. To get a 200 on my first ever skate is incredibly lucky, and any fish over 200 pound from British waters is a great achievement, and I was so happy with this fish. That day's fishing is an experience I remember for many years to come. I've also got to say a huge thanks to Ben and Andy for taking me out and putting me over that fish and making this capture possible, and to Donald for helping film and land the fish. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.